One of the best solo weekend trips I've taken from Paris is to a tiny coastal village in Normandy called Etretat. This town with a population of only around 1,400 people is famous for its cliffside views and fresh seafood. Most people visit for only a couple of hours, but between the incredible homestay I discovered and the little surprises along the way, I'm hoping to convince you otherwise. I am on my way to Etretat and I made it to the bus with like eight minutes to spare. <laughs> So I just arrived in Etretat, kind of on the outskirts at the bus station, and I'm not really sure what to do because the place I'm staying is technically in a different village and it's around a 50 minute walk from the center of town, so I think even further from here. But let's get something to eat because I am starving. This town is tiny and I love it. It's so easy to navigate and walk around so far. It's just very cute, it's so sweet, like a little village. This crepe shop is my mission right now. Sign's kind of falling apart. Cute. Oh my gosh, I smell it already. I am so hungry. It looks like, depending on what you put in it, the price ranges quite a bit. You can go all the way up to $20 for a crepe. And they're actually called galettes here. But the cheapest one is $5.20. I'm seated down in the restaurant and everything looks really good. My first impression was that this was going to be like a casual take and go crepe type place. But it's actually more of a sit down style restaurant. And some of the crepes or galettes are huge. Like overflowing off the plate. Okay, there's the crepe. Oh, Missy. Okay, so it's got egg and ham and then cheese. The galette or crepe was delicious, very filling, and only around $10.70, I think. So, good price considering it's a sit down restaurant and very, very nice ingredients. And then I thought I was gonna just explore town, but I think I am gonna try to find. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I think I am gonna try to find my hostel and drop off this bag because it's just too heavy. I don't wanna clean up, use the restroom, and then come back and stay until the evening. I'm really tempted to go look at the ocean really quickly, but I want to drop off this bag. But way back on that hill, I can see people walking up and there's a viewpoint to look out at the cliffs. So that's my motivation to get to this hostel as quickly as possible. Although I'm walking uphill and I just ate, so it's going to be tricky. I'm very out of breath. <laughs> like why did I eat so much? And I hope this is the right way. Okay, the path is turning into an actual trail. So here we went from a road, and now a footpath. Okay, I should probably explain my accommodation situation. Etretat is a very small village, and it's quite touristy, so most of the accommodations here, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> most of the accommodations here are pricey. They're not for backpackers, but there is a hostel, uh, type thing a homestay in a neighboring village and that's what I'm walking to right now but like check this out I'm literally out in the middle of nowhere hey cows am I going the right way I think there's another trail closer to the coast because I see a few people walking there like six which is a, that's a lot for out here whereas no one's on my trail this is the cow path so maybe on the way back into town I take the sightseeing path civilization I'm very confident that it's gonna be one of these houses. So we're almost there. See a sign, Refuge 21. And it really looks like a refuge. This is beautiful. So stunning. I dropped my bag down, so I claimed my bed for the night. And there's only gonna be two of us staying here tonight. I guess since Monday's a holiday and today's a Friday, most people are gonna be here for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And this puppy dog is Chaussette. Oh, and Chaussette loves to lay down. You love the belly scratches, huh? And Chaussette means sock in French. So here's the upstairs. And to the right, this must be a private room that you can get. And then through here is the dorms. And it can fit up to five people. So I have staked out this bed. So I thought it was nice and private. There's an outlet. And my favorite detail is actually the bathroom. I just really like the lighting and the colors. And so I booked this place on Airbnb and the woman who's renting it said it's in her family. So I think that's really cool. I just walked along 
the fence here, now that I'm headed back to Etretat. And this trail by the coast is an official trail called the GR21. But I want to show you the most incredible, peaceful view. And I have it all to myself. I'm not even in Etretat right now. This is just closer to my Airbnb. But look at this, okay? We have this side. If we keep spinning, we got that side. Oh my goodness. I think I'm getting much closer into town now because I finally see quite a bit more people and life. So there's the town of Etretat. It's a proper town. And if you see that whole kind of stretches back into the valley there. But I would love a coffee. I hope the coffee shop is not closed. I think it closes at five. I need to check the time. And five's kind of late for coffee, but I would love a latte. It sounds so good. It's so lovely. We're in town, but we need to find the coffee. Little towns like this, especially in France for some reason, on the beach, they remind me of little beach towns in Washington. I think because Washington, our beaches are a little rockier, a little colder. It's kind of got that Normandy vibe in a way. The little stores and the ice cream shops, the layout, it's cute. It just makes me miss home. I see the coffee shop and the lights are still on and there's people inside, so we're good, we made it. I got an iced vanilla latte. It's quite unique to see vanilla syrup in France, so that's why I got the vanilla part, but usually I don't do that, but it's very good. Mm. <laughs> Big coffee fan. Quick ad break from the video because if you're planning a trip to France, particularly to visit any of the smaller towns like Etretat, it's super helpful to know at least the basics in French. This will allow you to ask for directions to your accommodation, find the best places to eat, and hopefully connect with the locals. I've been living in Paris for the past five and a half months and I've tested out a variety of ways to learn French and practice speaking. The method I'm really enjoying at the moment is by taking online classes with Lingoda. I have a Lingoda class starting in less than 20 minutes. So I have some vocabulary to review. This is something I really like that Lingoda does is they lay out the vocabulary you're going to see in the lesson so that you can review it ahead of time. That way, once you're in the lesson, you're already a little bit familiar with it and hopefully it can stick in your brain a bit better. Atteindre son objectif. Atteindre son objectif. Devenir. Devenir. L'ambition. L'ambition. Très motivé pour mes bonnes résolutions. Resolution. <laughs> right now, if you sign up for Lingoda Flex using the link in the description of this video, you can get 20 euros off your subscription as well as up to 20 free private classes. And now let's get back to Etreta. There's the tickets for the garden. I mean, close in like an hour, but I don't think they're that big, so it should be fine. You might laugh at me because I spent 12.50 to basically get inside this garden and see these very round faces. <laughs> they look like giant raindrops with little faces on them. And this is just something that I've seen way in the past on Instagram and Pinterest. And then when I was researching Etretat, this came up and I was like, wait, no way, I've seen these statues before this photo, it's kind of iconic. And I had no idea where it was. It was never something that I like wanted to search out to see, but if I was ever around, I thought, oh yeah, I would go see that, it's very pretty. Well, here I am. They're cute, right? I think they're actually really cute. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I like it. <gasps> oh, wait. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I sat next to this girl on the bus here. That's so random. Hi. Are you having a good time? Yes, I'm having a good time. Are you also on like a solo trip? No, actually, I'm with my parents. They um, they were at in what, what was city? Rouen. Uh, and, Rowan? Rowan. Exactly. Okay. And then we drove here. Oh, it's so cool! Oh my gosh. But they didn't want to pay to come into the garden. Yeah. <laughs> but you did too. Yeah. Me too. So random. So basically, we sat by each other on the Flix bus here. It was kind of funny because there was this lady on the bus whose phone was turned on and it just kept dinging like mm -hmm. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and we just like looked at each other a couple times like, oh my God, is this happening? That was the most wholesome interaction ever. Gabby basically just introduced me to her parents. They were resting in the car while she was at the garden. And we just, yeah, had a nice little moment. They moved to Munich like 20 years ago. They're from Indonesia. 
and I have traveled around Indonesia quite a lot. I've been three separate times and I've kind of been all over so we're just like exchanging stories about Indonesia and their life in Germany and their travels to the US and just so kind, so nice. This restaurant behind me is what I had marked on my list for dinner because they have this big bowl of mussels essentially and that's what I'm trying to eat tonight. And they open at 645, it is like two minutes before that and I thought no one else is gonna be eating this early. I'm probably gonna be the first and only one there. But there's a line, like all these people apparently have heard about this place too. Here's the meal. Bread, cider, my mussels, and some potatoes. This is amazing. <laughs> Huge pot just for me. <laughs> There's so many in here. I am so unbelievably happy right now. Fresh seafood, a lot of it, like really good mussels. <laughs> Dinner was phenomenal, really good. I spent 18 euros and that was including the cider. So if I hadn't gotten a drink, it would have been 14 euros for all those mussels, potatoes, and bread. So super good. I'm really happy with it. Very full. I just feel like I had, you know, a proper seafood meal along the coast. What a day. What a good day. Just sitting for a moment and soaking it all in this would be so nice to just sit and watch the sun go completely down you know if you're with someone but yeah part of being a solo female traveler is that you gotta be safe so i'm making my way back since i do have like a 40 minute walk essentially in the middle of nowhere i mean there's a few people from time to time but still it's pretty empty and I just want to get back a decent amount before the sun goes down. And Chaussette wants me to know that it's ball throwing time, huh? Is it ball throwing time? Let me see. Let me see, Chaussette. <laughs> Look at this cute dog. <laughs> Come here. Good boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's ball time. Good morning. So it is breakfast here in Etretat. Looks like we've got some different jams, some spreads, and then that might be butter. And I got some tea. Oh, um, uh, no messy. It's okay. Oh, it's nice and warm too. So let's put some butter on this. And then I don't know what kind of jams these are, but I'm going to try both of them. Uh, comment, comment I forgot shampoo, so this is day three, no hair wash, since yesterday was a no hair wash day. So I'm looking forward to showering with soap when I get home. But it has been a really nice day. I really enjoyed it here. I pretty much have the whole day just to chill out since my bus isn't till around 5.30 tonight. I think the tide is a lot further out right now than I saw it yesterday. And I see a couple of people down there poking around in the tide pools, so might have to check it out. So I'm working my way down, getting there. It's gonna be quite the journey to get back up. A lot of the rock is just really pretty. Oh, I feel like my sister would like this. Got some very small tide pools, like some snails or something in there. Look at this ancient looking ladder. <laughs> this thing has seen better days. Oh my god. And I've seen people climbing up and down it. I climbed down it. It turns out it is structurally, stru structurally sound. And this whole base here actually looks like it used to be something. You know, see the way there's this circle here and it's made out of brick. Kind of looks like a framework of... I don't know, something. So that's the end of this trip and I guess the end of this vlog, but 
thank you for watching. I hope you are curious about Normandy or Etretat or just France in general after seeing this because it was really such a perfect little solo trip. Really nice. Completely exceeded my expectations. But that's it and I'll see you in the next one.